In a while. Man, I feel good today, Silent Bob. It's time to get back to work as New Jersey's number one unlicensed gorilla weed merchants. Before all those bullshit legalized dispensaries start opening. Man, how the fuck do they expect a pair of hapless motherfuckers like us to make a living in this new enlightened world? The salad days are over for low-level suburban weed whackers like us, Lunchbox. So you and me, we're gonna have to figure out a new line of work for ourselves. But we gotta start thinking about the future. But before we do that, how's about a little trip to the past, fat ass? Yo, baby, ever have your asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat? Now, what the fuck is this shit? Oh. Hold your fucking horses, you bossy fuck. We're getting there. I... I am the guardian of this sector of the galaxy. I'm an extraterrestrial and fatally wounded, battling to save your planet from those who would seek to enslave you. You must take this ring become the new guardians take up where I left off you must be you must be be good Elliot yo that shit's from E.T. son oh. Oh. heroes save the fucking pl oh. touch my penis Please, you must blow into my penis for me to live. I, I'm begging you, blow into my penis or I will die. Put it in your mouth, just the tip. If you put my penis in your mouth, I shall live. If not, you are doomed. Oh my god, it's dead, Silent Bob! Fucking you! I touched the dead thing! Ew, dude! Ew. Get it off! Get it off of me! Get it off of me! I'm corroded! Ew, dude! Fuck! I gotta wash this off, dude. Let's find a bathroom. Fucking weird dead guy all touching me. Alright, there's a bathroom in here, yo. I just hope they let me back in after last time, you know, when I wrote my name and poop on the stall wall. Remember that shit? Look, I swear, if that dead guy gave me some disease, I'm gonna kill that fuck. Oh, look at little balls here. He's got public piss syndrome. 
Look, just go use the fucking stall toilet like a little bitch there. I want to get out of here sometime this week, you big girl's blouse. Baby junk, you big fat fuck. What, dude? I didn't write it. Look, man, it ain't my fault. Words out that you give good blowjobs, all right? Bong snoogans. Yo, let's piss on the roll of toilet paper so it blows up real fat like. Oh, man, so it sounds like something blew up, sir. Whatever you did in here, can you do it again? We missed it. I was just here, taking pictures, and there was an explosion. No shit, I was taking a leak in the bathroom, and the explosion made me miss the bowl, and I hit the freaking toilet paper roll. Are you a science guy like- My name's Peter- Whatever, man, look. If a dead guy touched me, can I catch something from him? I'm not you sure, I... fucking science guys are all alike, man. No fucking answers for nothing. Never working on something for the betterment of mankind, like the flying fucking car, like on the Jetsons. Better yet, make a rosy, man. The kind that cleans the house and could call me Mr. J. Yo, this place got some bugs, sir. Let's get the fuck out of here. And Small Fry, the science guy, get to work on that sex, Rosie, would you? Make sure you give her a big fat lips, too. And program her to do anal. Look, man, I'm getting a weird feeling, Saw Bob, like the universe is trying to tell us something, sir. You know, like we're supposed to do something, something important, something heroic. One fucking side, Methuselah. Fucking old timers think they own the streets and shit, right? <laughs> You little bent out black fuck, push me in solemn bob, will ya? Hey, remember kids, mutant turtles are from Earth, not from outer space. Michael Bay. Who do these punk kids think they are, sir? Where's the respect for their elders? Punk ass little bitch tried to sucker punch us. That's the problem with this city, sir. Crime is everywhere. What this burg needs is a protector, or two even. Someone, you know, who someone will take back the night from the criminal element. You know, someone like, hey, look at this shit. Voluntary drug testing. Help out Uncle Sam in his never ending battle against the Kaiser by signing up for the testing of a new drug that may aid in the war against this nation's enemies. All volunteers get a free $5 bill. Holy shit, Silent Bob. You know what this means, don't you? Free drugs. Yeah, boy. After our rigorous elimination trials, these two patriotic gentlemen have emerged as the prime candidates for the testing of our new super soldier serum. Son, I can't tell you how proud we all are of you boys. You're doing a great thing here today. A great thing. If the doc serum works as good as he's explained it will, we'll suit you up in a costume, give you an impenetrable shield made of the toughest element known to man, send you out to fight this nation's enemies. Did you hear that, Silent Bob? We're getting shields! All right, gentlemen. If you'll just lie down on the table, we can proceed with the injection of the Super Soldier Serum! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Injection? Dude, we don't skin pop, sir. What do we look like, some fucking junkies or something? But how else did you think we were going to get the serum into your bloodstreams? We thought we were going to smoke it like weed and shit. Oh. Well, the compound is too volatile for anything other than injection. Igniting it would be lethal. I'm afraid it's the injection or nothing. Well, look then. It's fucking nothing, man. No needles or glass pipes, sir. Ew. 
But you're both already severe drug abusers. Look, we're stoners, man. We get lit. We don't shoot shit. There's a subtle difference. Losers are users, and users are losers, man. We just saying, no, yo. Later for you, you fucking dope fiends. And where's our free five dollars? Look at you, man. I can't believe you wasted your free five bucks on scratch-off tickets. Why didn't you buy something useful, you dumb fat fuck? Like me, look, I bought smokes, papers, and a soda. We could have doubled that order if you didn't waste your greenbacks on that pie-in-the-sky bullshit. <laughs> What now, man? Fuck you if you think I'm gonna apologize for calling you a fat fuck. You've been bulging out of that coat lately, man. What? This? A winner, winner, chicken dinner! Oh my god, dude, we're rich! Woohoo! We are rich! Hey! Dude, I know just what we can do with all this back cash, yo. A dream we've never been able to realize if we hadn't won this cash just now. Let's become... Superheroes. First, we'll need a secret base. You know, a big ass hole in the ground where we could change it to our outfits and plot out various superheroics against the fucking criminal element. And once we've fashioned the secret entrance, we're gonna need a sweet ass, specially designed motherfucker of a car with trick buttons, gadgets, and a kick it sound system. Then, you could cook up some of those doohickeys we can use in our two man war on crime. Especially the blunt saber. Turn it off! Turn it off! <sighs> I am not even supposed to be here today. We gotta work on the hype problem, sir. And now that we're done with all that shit, we just need a name. You know, something we can use to strike fear into the criminal hearts of our enemies. Criminals are cowardly and supersti- they're super sti- You know what? Criminals are fucking pussies, man. We need costumes and a shtick that'll scare the fuck out of them, sir. But what? <coughs> I've got it, Lunchbox. Now we just need some fucking super villains. Oh snap, son! Imagine if suddenly some pimped out motherfuckers like me and you were to bust in through the window and say, Hi, I know this is no fat set of nuts around here. And at that point, they're so horned up, they can't refuse even a portly fuck like yourself. That's why this superhero gig is so fucking sweet, sir. We can run around on rooftops, peeping in on the women. Nobody says dick, because of these spiffy suits. I mean, everybody knows that all any man-hater needs is the right guy to remind her how essential a steady diet of big-ass balls is to a grown girl, right? Whoa, kids. Screenwriting Kev Smith popping in to remind you that ain't me talking stupid shit. That's the character Jay espousing his own dopey, unenlightened views. And that doesn't represent how I feel about lesbians at all. In fact, if anything, I identify with lesbians. I, too, love the pussy. And like a lesbian, I have no dick to speak of. So in short, I'm here, I'm queer, get used to it. And now, back to the Great Space Coaster. It's Jay and Silent Bill, you jerk. Sorry, back to Jay and Silly Bob, super loony, whatever the fuck. Well, look at us, Lunchbox. If we ain't the right guys, then who the fuck is? All right, the line's secure. When I get over there, I'll throw the shit back for you, Lunchbox, and you swing your fat ass over, too. Then we can get in there and watch a little ass-to-ass. Between them, you fucking felter, not between us. Ew, dude. You thought I meant I wanted to ride tandem with your blubbery ass on a double dong. All requiem for a dream and shit, didn't you? I bet your shit even got a little hard thinking about it, didn't it? 
I'm gonna get some pussy. I'm gonna get some pussy. Everybody down! <laughs> Will no one put an end to this villain's antisocial antics? Holy shit! Talk about irony! <laughs> Guys. Hey, it was. Look, well, he's Blunt Man, and I'm... The Blunt Man saved us from that bank robber. Hey, Blunt Man, savior of the city. Hey, man, now wait a second. Blunt Man didn't knock that motherfucker out, right? This thing did. The rope and dildo thingy. Hooray for Blunt Man! He fell that motherfucker with the blunt rope and dildo thingy. Okay, little girl, say cheese. Sweet mother of Jesus, why does he get all the credit? What about me, Chronic? You're obviously just his sidekick, little kid. Why the fuck do you think I'm his sidekick? How do you know he's not my sidekick? Well, besides the hat. Master's Jay and Bob. The blunt signal's been ignited. No shit, Sherlock. Well, that means there's trouble in Red Bank. Look, why the fuck do you think we're down here? We're hiding out, dumbass. Look, we're too tired to fight bad guys tonight. As the sworn protectors of the Tritown area, I believe suiting up would be in order, sirs? Fuck you. You want to save the town from some fuck in a Halloween costume? You put on the tights. But get me a soda before you leave, all right? And order us a pizza, you butler fuck. Put on your fucking costumes and get out there. Fucking kids. Oh, what? It's for the ladies. You got your costume, I got mine.
Welcome, everyone, to the Thursday night group therapy session. What would we like to talk about first? Bluntman and Chronic. Bluntman and Chronic. Yeah. Bluntman and that bitch ass motherfucker Chronic. Hey kids, trustworthy Kev Smith here. Right about now, I know you're all expecting to hear Mark Hamill's voice, and that would have been awesome. But this here's a Kevin Smith joint, a cartoon from the guy who made Jersey Girl and Cop Out. That means you gotta expect some kind of level of disappointment. It's just like being in bed with me, man. I start strong and I finish weak, end in tears. And sometimes I'm wearing a dress and a butt plug. But I'd rather light a candle than curse the darkness. So, as is the late motif of my entire career, I'm turning disappointment into opportunity, which means in an effort to reach out to the ever-burgeoning brony market in Jay and Silent Bob's super groovy cartoon movie, the role of Cockknocker will be voiced by none other than that girl of a thousand voices, the little lady who'll put the sparkle into any twilight and the power into any puff, Tara Strong! Not again. Fine. We'll talk about Blunt Man and Chronic. Who'd like to start? Oh, 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 pick me, Doc. Eh, uh, pick me, eh? Uh. Richard? Nobody calls me that anymore, Doc. Not since Blunt Man and Chronic made me the oversized, circumcised scoundrel I am today. The name's Dickhead. Dickhead! Now look what you've done. Clean it up, Richard. Sorry, Doc. I guess old dickhead blew his top, huh? What have I been telling you for weeks now, Richard? If we think of ourselves as dickhead, then the road to rehabilitation is twice as treacherous. We must divorce ourselves from our non-decrime and work toward a better tomorrow. Now, you were saying you blame Hemp Knight and his young ward for your life in crime? If it weren't for those two do-gooders, I wouldn't be the bulbous boner you see before you today. Take us back then, Richard. Help us, and you, to understand. I guess it all started when I was born. Push, Mrs. Head, push! <gasps> Here we go, the baby's crowning! And it's out! Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Head. You've got yourselves a baby girl. But the doctor was off by agenda. If the doctor would have checked closer, he would have noticed I was all man. I was able to keep my tiny shame a secret for decades. But when I went to high school, the mean boys made shower time a burden I could barely carry. Look at him. Cock's the size of a raisin. <laughs> He's so beauty. <laughs> Looks like a woman. Yeah! That ain't no dick. That's a pussy. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. I was faced with that same type of cruelty after every gym class. When I couldn't stand being the laughing stock of the school any longer, I dropped out. What followed was a series of menial jobs. You want to bovine size those fries? It was spirit crushing work that reminded me that big dicks get all the breaks. Yes, I am licking your balls hard. I had accepted the fact that my life was destined to be as small as my wiener. Ah. Uh. Huh? And that's when I saw the ad that would change me forever. Guys, do you want that massive manhood only seen in pornos and on gay web pages? Then take Viagra, the chemically safe route to penis enlargement that has the FDA so amazed they haven't scooped their jaws off the floor long enough to give it its approval. Call now, 1-800-BIG-ASS-COCK. Final O, C, and K not necessary for dialing. Sexy operators are standing by. It seemed like the answers to all my prayers. The direction said to drink a quarter ounce a day. But I figured, in my case, the directions didn't apply. Suddenly, something happened. And that something was nothing. Even after downing the whole bottle, my little man had grown no taller. Sure, I was suffering from heart palpitations, and my vision was a bit blurry. But aside from that, zip, no results whatsoever. Then it hit me. I knew what was wrong. I didn't drink enough. I called the company to reorder. But all I got was a message. Thank you for calling Doco, home of Viagra. Unfortunately, the FDA has raised a number of issues about the questionable nature of our wonder drug, so we are closed. Pending further investigation. Goodbye. I didn't know what to do. 
I'd found the cure-all for my unfortunate condition, but the government was conspiring against me and my teeny weeny peeny. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I would not be denied. I was like a modern-day Ponce de Leon. And I'd found my fountain of youth. But just as I was preparing to ingest as much Jiagra as it would take to enlarge my fortune, they showed up. Their arrival spelled the end of my life as I knew it. You hear something? Nah, me neither. Now let's find this shit and get out of here. Oh, what? Just because we're fucking superheroes, now we're supposed to obey every law? Yo, this ad says that Jiagra shit makes your dick huge, sir. How am I supposed to pass that up? Yeah, not like I need this stuff. I mean, I've got a baby's arm holding an apple between my legs. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it, it can never be too big, you know? For the ladies and shit. And why the hell should I pay for it like some no dick weenie when I can bust in here, vigilante style, and grab a little taste for myself? Besides, it's not like anyone's gonna ever know we were here. What the fuck? Holy shit! See? I told you that stuff works. You did this to me. You made me the monstrosity that now stands before you. As God is my witness, I will have my revenge as your new sworn enemy, dickhead. You think he was talking to us? And ever since then, I've spent every waking hour trying to destroy Bluntman and Chronic. Uh, if I received that story in the humorous blind copied email, I still wouldn't believe it. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, nerd turd? Let's hear your sorry story. Fine, get out of my face, I'll consider it. But I guarantee you this one thing. It will put a on your faces. Now, news group, what have I told you about speaking in emoticons? Is that how we rehabilitate ourselves? Sorry, Doc, relax. Old, old habits are hard to break. It's just an emoticon. It's not a crack habit, okay? See, I've always loved comics. Back in the day, the adventures of heroes and villains dressed in gaudy costumes, they were my only relief from the tensions and pressures of the so-called real world, as it were. <laughs> Did you see that, baby? Did you see me give it to that comics nerd? Who's he think he is all reading and shit? The way you miss two people who don't have the same myopic views of the world so turns me on, Travis. Then let's go home and bone, baby. You own my maidenhead, Travis. My latest issue of Not You, Man, ruined. Oh, the agony. Such was the way it was. I didn't always fit in. Socially, I might have been a little awkward, if you can believe it. A misfit of sorts. But that all changed once I discovered the internet. Wow, this comic really spoke to me. I feel the character is as alienated as I am. He and I both are truth seers in a world full of filthy liars. On the letters page, I found there was an internet address where I could contact the author. So I went to an internet cafe and logged on to the website. Are you gonna order anything or not? Madam, please. I'm surfing the web here. A little space. Thanks. God. Internet cafe, it's not a cafe cafe, bitch. I found a message board to post on and went to work. Hi. Uh, anyone here love comics? Live with their parents still and think everything sucks? And for the first time in my godforsaken life, I felt like I belonged somewhere. I'd come home. I'd convinced my foolhardy parents that I needed a computer. So I got one. And you promise you're gonna use this to get a job and move out, right? I mean, you are 28. Out, mother, out! I need to hurl my POV into the cyber void. Christ, and I thought you were a lost cause when you were just reading those funny books. Dick? They're graphic novels, mother! Does anyone else have a mother who refers to their comics as funny books? Imbecilic woman from whose womb I burst, there's nothing funny about tales of costumed Avengers. But one day, my fragile new world was threatened by my own idiocy. 
Whoa, news crew. Did you just submit to reading a superhero comic? Nobody here reads those silly screeds anymore. It's all about anime now. What had I done? I'd shove my foot in my mouth in the midst of my newfound friends simply by being myself. That's what I'd done. There was only one thing I could do to make them appreciate me for who I really was. Change completely. I was merely joking. I never read superhero comics. Please. Oh, I don't know, news group. You sure sounded serious. I'm not so sure this is the message board for your kind. <laughs> I felt my brave new world slipping away from me. What can I do to prove my worthiness? Please, tell me. I'll do anything. Anything? The quest I was charged with was not a simple one. They wanted me to break into dense continuity comics and pulp all copies of their latest issues as a statement against all superhero comics. But just as I was about to simultaneously pulp a pile of superhero comics and post about it right there while it happened, they showed up. No! Their arrival was that most sour of emoticons. You hear something? Nah, me neither. Now let's pick up our comics and get out of here. Oh, what, man? What's the use of being superheroes if we can't use our powers and abilities to get our books early and for free? Deja fucking boo, right? Look what you've done to me. Look at the freak I've become. That acid permanently embedded this into my chest. Yeah, way to state the obvious, jackass. You made me the monstrosity that now stands before you. And as God is my witness, I will have revenge as your new sworn enemy, News Group. You know, I bet if I tripped a guy like that in front of some chick, I could get some mad pussy. From that day forward, I've made the demise of Blunt Man and Chronic the whole focus of my life. Send. Sad face, winky face, happy face. Yes. Well, does anyone have a story about their hate for Blunt Man and Chronic that doesn't involve a vat of acid? Vowed to destroy them. Wait a second. You're not a doctor. Are you saying that you're a super villainess? Call me Lipstick Lesbian, scourge of all men, particularly Blood Man and Chronic. Come, my brothers. Join me, and together we will destroy our common enemies, Bluntman and Chronic. Scumbags, freeze! Oh, shit! Blunt Man and Chronic, wherever you are, the League of Shitters will find you. Yo, look at that shit blow up. Keep pissing, boy. <clears throat> Yo, you want to get in on some of this action, Albert? Cross the streams with me and Sal Bob? Hardly, sir. This arrived for you, gentlemen. Bang. What the fuck's this? Fan mail from some flounder? 
Apparently, Red Bank aims to honor Master Bluntman with the key to the city as a thanks for your tireless efforts in crime fighting. Would that they could see you now. Fuck that boring ass shit. Tell them to shove the key up their asses. Yo, let's piss on this and see if it blows up. Need I point out that there will be admirers of the Distaff Order in attendance, sirs? In the preferred parlance, then? <coughs> Pussy? Why, Albert, you dirty old teabagger? You looking to get some of our sloppy seconds, ain't ya? I take it. I can RSVP, then. Look, if we bring home some bitches, you can RSVP him, NDP him. Bung! Yes, sir. Bung. And so, as a thanks for the never-ending battle against an array of supervillains who never seemed to exist prior to their emergence, Red Bank offers Blunt Man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Red Bank offers Blunt Man and his sidekick this ceremonial key to the city. Yo, any ladies out there want to get buff fucked by a superhero? Yeah, well, uh, this ends the dedication ceremony proper, but one and all are welcome to enjoy our day-long Blunt Man Day festivities, culminating with tonight's big parade. You guys are big fat dicks! What? It was an honest question. And I have an honest answer. I'm aching to get butt-fucked by a superhero. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Let's build toward it first. Holy shit. You mean you want to go steady before we fuck? All right. Will you be my girlfriend, oh anal inclined vixen? Uh, not that kind of building, stud. I'm talking foreplay. Like a little show for my big, strong caped crusaders. Holy shit, Blunt Man, you've been dick smacked. What's up? Remember me, Boy Blunter? No, and I think I'd remember a guy with a giant fist, sir. Who the fuck are you? I'm Cockknocker. Why do they call you Cockknocker? Load them up, boys. And let's spring our death trap back at their secret lair. Tell me, my sinister siren of Sappho, how will our little league of shitters locate the lair of the Cushed Crusaders? Nobody's ever been able to find their infernal fortress, their beloved Blunt Cave. Do you have some kind of high-tech, geographically correct golly whiz gizmo in your scrutility belt that can positively pinpoint the fucker's fortress? Return to Blunt Cave. Go west on Broad Street, 0.05 miles. Remember, kids, always clear your GPS settings and previous addresses. You don't want any criminals showing up at your front door. <laughs> have arrived at your destination. This is their secret lair? This is where they hang out when they're in their secret identities, so it must be somewhere around here. Diddler, news group, search the front of the store for a hidden lever or something. Man, I can't even believe this shit right now. I'm a straight up too legit to quit costume supervillain. But oh shit, I still got some giant dickhead bossing me around on the job. The way this bitch keeps telling my black ass what to do, I might as well kept on working at Southwest Airlines. What is that? Click it and see. Click it again. Click it again. Holy shit, you killed News Group. 
Big deal. That's just one less loser posting hate screeds about movies at Ain't It Cool News. Good point. True that. But we got a real problem on our hands. You killed Diddler. He was our only black character. Jesus Christ! Damn it. What? What, what, what happened? Where am I? Ew, dude! Time to wake and bathe! of masked marauders as we massacre the marijuana marinated men of mystery with my machine manufactured to murder their mellow. That's some awful alliteration, ain't it? Awful! Best belies the criminally conceived, eerily ironic, and diabolically droll death trap you're now anchored inside of. Yeah, the League of Shitters has imprisoned you and your young ward in a giant bang! <laughs> Isn't this a most absolutely original and herbally ironic end for the clobbering cannabinoids? Hey, this ain't original. You stole this idea from the Bob and Doug McKenzie movie, Strange Brew. Yes. The irony still stands. Oh yeah? Well, I bet there was one thing you fucks didn't plan on. Our faithful blunt cave manservant. Get him, Albert! Yo, look at this useless old fool, man. I knew we should have gotten a robot made instead. At least she would have blown us. When we last met, you asked if I'd ever had my asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat. <clears throat> now, you two assholes are gonna be licked permanently. No, wait, so you're not gonna really buttfuck me and Silent Bob? I mean, I, I mean, me and Blunt Man. Sorry, sir, she was sweating me. On the contrary, my foul-mouthed little friend, I'm fucking you hard. Looking for these, Hemp Knight? <laughs> Try getting out of this terrifying trap without your legendary utility belts. I'd bring them with us, but they reek of sperm caked with keep. Yo, sperm caked with keep was my nickname in third grade. We'd stay to watch you drown, but there's a city to pillage. So long, caped cock knockers. Excuse me? Sorry. Goodbye, dickheaded duo. Hey! Jesus, let's just go! What the fuck, man? Are you at least gonna throw some weed up into this motherfucker? Ha! So, is that a no? Man. Ain't this some fucked up shit? Drowning in a giant water bomb. Did you ever think you'd die like this? <sighs> you know, seeing how we're about to die and all, and nobody's around, maybe it wouldn't be gay if we gave each other handies. Look, I'm gonna think about fucking the lady from Castle. You're probably gonna think about fucking Castle. Nuge. Uh, this ain't what it looks like. <laughs> Albert, you saved us! <laughs> it's the beauty of a, a gentleman's gentleman. Sir. He said duty. We've got to get you to a hospital, Albert. I'm afraid it's too late for me, Masters Bluntman and Chronic. But it's not, uh, not too late for you to save your beloved city. You're right. If we don't act fast, the League of Shitters will fuck up hundreds of innocent chicks we could be fucking. Be before you leave, might I make one small request? Anything for you, Albert. Since I'm going to expire, nobody's around. Will one, one of you give me a handy? Ew, dude! It was worth a shot. Oh. <laughs>
He's gone. Don't you worry, my dead gay friend. We will avenge your gay death! To the Blumpmobile! That's fucking funny, sir. To the Blumpmobile! on that ass clown in there? Gah! Condescension on the counter is what killed the video star. Yeah, fuck local businesses. I'm joining Netflix up in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Hope you're not crushed about it! Can't this piece of shit go any faster, fat ass? Man, we are never gonna get to the parade in time, sir. So we better get high instead. <laughs> Devil in the pale moonlight? It's huge. Holy shit, Plunk Man. The League of Shitters are using those giant parade balloons to gas the city. Everyone watching the parade will be killed if we don't do something. Oh man, and now the autopilot's not working. What do we do, man? What do we do? Say it, but the fucking autopilot's broke. Bow to your masters, dirty criminal scum! Bow to your masters! Uh oh. Uh, excuse me? Is, uh, this Red Bank? This is Asbury Park. The south side. Start the car! Start the car! Wrath of the Rug Munchers. You won't get away with this. Blood Man and Chronic will save us. Blood Man and Chronic are dead. This city belongs to the League of Shitters. Yo, Ellen DeGeneres. This city's protected by a real man of steel. And he's got a pocket full of kryptonite he wants to stick up your fortress of solitude. Snooge. They're alive. And making pop culture references. And the little one has kryptonite in his pants. That's just a figure of speech. Oh, yeah? I told you we should have stayed to watch them die. But oh no, the bad guys never stick around to watch the good guys die, you said. I'll never understand why I'm not in charge of this gang. I'm the one with the giant fist! Then use it! Kill the heroes! Yo, maybe we should make that guy our new blood cave butler. He gives a mean fucking handy. Snitchy boogies! No man, circumcise that unruly wiener! That 
That shit never happened in Star Wars. But it sure as fuck would have made Phantom Menace more interesting. Snoogans. Yo, man, let's tweet that. Hashtag hit Jar Jar with the car car. Push out! I'll take the Ritalin kid. You'll go after the fat one. Hear me now, and believe me later, blunt man. Dickhead is coming! And soon, he'll be coming all over your face, neck, and chest! <laughs> you have a gun? Do you guys have a gun? Anyone have a gun? Guns? Guns. Do you have any guns? Guns. Does anybody have a gun I can borrow, man? Give me a hand here! <laughs> There's nowhere left to run, son! Pucker up, Buttercup! Because, boy blunter, cockknocker's coming to wreck your rectum! My virgin asshole! Wait, 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 wait. How about you let me go if I suck your dick? What in blue blazes? Hear me out, sir. I ain't never done it before, but I bet I could suck a mean dick. It only takes me a three licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, and that'll taught me. Look, just don't tell anybody, all right? I don't want you to blow me. Did you ever think of that? What, are you gay or something? Your desperate deliberations are done, masked man. Prepare to perish at the heavy hand and gargantuan grasp of Cockknocker! Oh, 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 I get it. You got a little dick. What's this now? Yeah, I bet you got a little dick, and that's why you don't want to whip it out for the sucking of the century. You're right. I'm hung like the jury. I'm hung like the Mona Lisa in the Louvre, which is to say, Expertly. Well, they do say that a guy's got a big dick if his hand is bigger than his face. Oh, is that right? Well, let's just see. Hippipogan! <laughs> Holy shit, I did it! I took down the bad guy all by myself! You know what? I was born to lead this team. Fucking blunt man can eat a dick, eat a whole bag of dicks! Because I'm the Tony Stark Prano of this bitch now. But wait, who's to say this big-fisted fuck won't come after me again when he wakes up? See? That's how Batman should handle the Joker. Plug it up, lipstick lesbian. We're putting prison panties on your pussy party. That was good, right? I just thought that shit up right now, sir. Motherfucker, man. Why don't we just carry guns, too? Or at least some broken beer bottles. Lord. I'm sorry for all the bad shit I done, man, and I'm even sorry for most of the good shit I done, too, because what's good to me, Lord, might not be good to you, you know what I'm saying? The way that we used to say bad to the mean good back in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? So here's my confession. One time, I stuck a toothbrush in my ass when I jerked off, and it was Solomon Bob's toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> 
goodbye forever, Saint Bob. It's been an honor serving with your tubby butt. Why don't you pick on someone your own cup size, lipstick lesbian? Holy boner bringers, blunt man, it's blunt girl! You're a disgrace to the distaff. God, that voice is so stupid, I'm gonna do it in my own voice from here on out. You are a disgrace to the distaff, lipstick lesbian, and I'm bringing you back to Bookham Asylum, this time as an inmate. sweet mystery lady. Just a concerned citizen with a dream of justice who's also a huge fan of the Blunt Man. Hi. What the fuck? Him? You can titty fuck the man for shit's sake. And I ought to know. You're turning me on. Yo, why the fuck are you settling for his pudgy fucking penis when you can smoke some chronic? Well, to be honest, this blunt girl persona is a bit new for me. Before that, I battled criminal scum under a different alias altogether. The Chubby Chaser! Oh my god, I can't believe that I'm really here in the legendary Balls of Justice. What the fuck do you have to bring her back to our secret base for, man? This whack job only fucks fat guys. Now that we've taken out the trash, when the mayor gave you the key to the city, I seem to recall an invitation to butt fuck. Holy shit, Song Bob, this crazy bitch wants a touchdown in Brown Town. Me first, me first. Really? Are you sure? I want to be Neil Armstrong up in that moon. One small step for man is one giant step in the can, Nooch. Hey, Blunt Man, you mind if your sidekick here goes first? Then let's get started, shall we? I think you misunderstood. Ow! What I was saying. Hey, baby, you ever got your fat asshole licked by a thin girl wearing a unitard? Woo! Woo! Yeah. When Ben Affleck played Daredevil. That's big G, big G's. Does anybody have lube on them? Come here, motherfucker. Oh! Holy shit, I just come. Party people, your dreams are all about to come true. All thanks to Jay, your motherfucking snooch. Ain't sharing your credit with Tubby Son Bob. Cause I'm the smart motherfucker who gave this guy the credit's job. So without further ado, do, here's my boy with the Star Wars toys. Shitting. They think they're all that. Let me see your breast pads. Here's my ball sack. Lift the testicles and chaps. Then drink my cock a drizzle. Just pretend you're trapped like it's your first night in prison. 
Do you got any ice? With great power comes a massive pain in the asshole, sir. This shit makes me want to turn my back on even being a superhero anymore. Never turn your back when you can face front, true believer. Oh my god, Silent Bob! It's the sensational Stan Lee! Well, what kind of comic book movie could this be without a quick cameo from Stan the Man? Marvelous. Snooge. Listen. You two think you're the only superheroes in the world? Hey, you've become part of a bigger universe now. You mean the DC universe? No, not that emo crap. Hey, I'm here to talk to you both about joining the Stan Avengers Initiative. Great Scott, Stan. You gotta come back with me. Where? To the future. Okay, spider friend. Dude, you didn't bust out your phone and shoot that shit? You dumbass, man. We would have got, like, a million hits on YouTube, man. You never were any good with the camera, you non-direct and fat fuck. Harold, Kumar, we're gonna need your help in the future. Excelsior. Shotgun. Yo, are you a real doctor? Great Scott, yes. Can you get us a card for medical marijuana? Great pot, yes. And papers, no pipes, man. I like my shit rolled. Rolled? Where we're going, we don't need any shit rolled. No! All oh, the fucking auto pilots broke.